It was 40 years ago that communist North Vietnam defeated the US-backed South, marking the end of three decades of war in the country. Many of those linked to the losing side feel they have been left out of the country's development since the war. Former South Vietnam soldier Nguyen Van Quang lost both his legs while fighting for his country. I was a soldier. I fought for South Vietnam. But my life, compared to injured communist soldiers, has been a struggle, and I have struggled alone. Many South Vietnam veterans rely on charity, like the handouts provided at this temple in Ho Chi Minh City, to survive. The communist government introduced market reforms in the late 1980s, and the country now has a capitalist economy, a contradiction for some. Because they rose in power by adopting the socialism and communism as designed by Kamar and Lenin. That's why now they try to continue that ideology. But in fact, what we can see on the street of Vietnam, that is capitalism, nothing to do with communism. After the war, there was little attempt at reconciliation between the communist North and the so-called Nguy, or puppet, Southerners, as they were widely known. Following the 1975 victory, there has been reunification in domination, in administration, but not psychological integration. With a huge military parade set to mark the 40th anniversary of the North's victory, any mention of wartime divisions remains extremely sensitive in today's Vietnam.